Hey everyone, so welcome. Super excited, here we go. I have such a nice spread of food. Totally looking forward to it. So here we are, undoubtedly authentic, delicious. Let's go for it. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're at Ma, which is a Chinese restaurant in St. Catharines, Ontario, so in the Niagara region. And boy oh boy, was I ever in for a treat. So eating and uh, starting off here with a couple of the uh, dumplings, um, but first let me just show you how beautiful this place was. Like, it is one of the most beautiful restaurants I have definitely ever seen. Um, that little clip didn't even give it justice. So again, trying these little dim sum items to start. Um, I have a variety of them there, kind of on that little plate. Um, kind of treating them like an appetizer, I guess you could say, um, before heading into the other awesome and delicious items which I have in front of me. Um, and I was super, super excited. So it came upon this place just based on reviews. This place is supposed to be incredibly authentic. It is supposed to be the real thing. And that menu, I tell you what, it is not only expansive and impressive, but I guarantee you, it was well worth the visit. So here I have a Peking duck. Uh, you saw the, kind of the carving of it, so it's pretty cool. They actually like legitimately carve the Peking duck for you at the table. Um, then I had this like little duck sauce it came with. It also came with um, little like, they call them like pancakes, I believe. Um, so little kind of like pancakes, kind of like crepes that you can use to eat the duck and the duck sauce. I didn't end up actually using any of the crepes. I totally forgot about them once I started eating this duck because it was just, it was that delicious. I like forgot about everything. Um, so that duck sauce, it's kind of like a salty, um, whereas the Peking duck has this really nice layer of fat on it. It is just like, Ooh, savory, salty, absolutely delicious. If you've never had a Peking duck, um, just it's a really nice roasted barbecue duck and definitely a, an item I would recommend trying out. Um, I again, thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I did get the whole duck and uh, I mean, normally I think you'd have a number of people sharing the duck, of course, me, I just kind of had the duck to myself, but it was it was delicious. Um, Love the way they presented it. Presentation was on point. Um, I've had a couple Peking ducks in the past, and this one was definitely exceptional. Just the taste, the flavors were great. Um, sorry, the kind of the the lobster is kind of in that way, um, but essentially, again, I'm just kind of going through eating the duck. Um, the parts that were just skin, I didn't. I personally did not eat them. I ate like if it was skin attached to the meat, obviously. But some parts were just skin um, that kind of fell off the meat, and I personally didn't eat those. However, the skin is absolutely delicious, has great flavor. Here is a, they called it a calamari, but like, I don't know if it was actually squid or not, because I have never, ever, ever had a calamari like this. And that's why I got it. The gentleman said, you know, you need to get this, you will not be disappointed. And it was totally true. It had kind of like a, like a sea salt and a pepper on it, but just like exquisite flavors. like. I don't know if calamari can be made with things that aren't squid, but like it was just not like a calamari I've ever had before. Super delicious batter, love the flavors. Here we had um, a vegetable, I figured I need to get a vegetable. So these were, I believe they called them bamboo sprouts or bamboo shoots and then mushrooms. I think it was, they called them king mushrooms or something along those lines. Um, so I asked like what was the, the most popular vegetable and they said, this um, is this like bamboo, I think it was bamboo sprouts, bamboo sprouts and this uh, this king mushroom or whatever it was. And it was pretty cool. Um, it was in this really like kind of thick gelatinous sauce. I've never really had it before, but I mean, if you like mushrooms, um, that was definitely like the main flavor of that dish. Um, everything was really nicely cooked. Everything was kind of al dente. Um, but kind of like the textures that you would expect it to be. So the sprouts, sprouts or the, or the bamboo um, shoots or again sprouts, whatever they were called, um, they were kind of like, uh, reminded me of like a, I don't know if I want to say like a kale or like a, a collard green or something, kind of being like quite a, a rough, uh, rough vegetable. Um, whereas the mushrooms, I mean, the mushrooms were, well, they're, they're like mushrooms. They're good though. Nice, nice crisp texture. Back this calamari, absolutely loved it. Again, there's two different flavors of it. I got, I, I think it was called like sea salt and pepper or something. It was supposed to be like, I don't know, the slightly spicier option. I've uh, I've really been enjoying 
for some reason, kind of spicy foods, spicier items. And no, I'm not talking like ghost pepper foods. Like, I like edible levels of spice. But I've really been enjoying um, spicy items recently. And so this, like, calamari just had the perfect flavors. Again, I was totally, like, totally impressed with it. I would definitely say it's a must, must have if you are going to come to Ma here, um, which I would, at this point, totally, 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 totally recommend. Um, the place is really hustling and bustling. So, if you kind of note it, like, I wasn't able to do too much of an intro, um, etc. Just, it was a busy spot. Um, these guys, open, I mean, and I understand why. It's freaking delicious. Um, this was a, a General Tao chicken. I asked kind of again, like, for the most popular items, and this was one of them as well. They said General Tao, definitely, um, kind of, somebody's going to go with a more, um, I don't know if I want to say North Americanized or, like, you know, familiar dish. This was one of them, and I can see why. Um, I also, it was supposed to also be, like, I mean, on the menu it said spicy or it had a little bit of heat to it. I didn't find as much myself. Um, then this was a new item they had. It was some kind of, like, a beef, uh, beef roll, deep fried beef roll. Which I wanted to try as well. Um, so I, I I know there was like some kind of beef. I think there was some kind of mushroom or something in here. I didn't really know what to expect. The guy said it was good, and boy oh boy, was it delicious! Man, the flavors on this thing, it was like savory. It was uh, just like a delicate dish. It just seemed really really fresh. Uh, like I said, the flavors throughout this experience were definitely um, exceptional. Um, so I really enjoyed this beef roll. In all reality, I probably would have got a couple of them, or like another one, if I would have known how good it was. Um, and there's another beef dish that the gentleman was recommending that, I mean, obviously I only want the one beef dish, but I would have got like both if I had known how, have I known how good it was. Um, they also had excellent little garnishes and everything on these, uh, tr on the plates. Um, like just excellently presented. And when it came again, going back to this General Tao chicken, so it was, I want to say like, again, I've, I've experienced this before in other cuisines, specifically Mexican, I, I feel this was the same for this kind of Chinese cuisine, that even this General Tao chicken, which is quite for, uh, comfortable in, um, in North America, or common in North American culture, this one had more flavor and less salt reliance. Um, so that was really cool. I decided to try some of this uh, lobster. This is a lobster done Hong Kong style. It was the first time I've ever had a lobster cooked like this, but it was super cool. And man, when it came to, oh, remember I was saying I like spicy? This thing was spicy as heck. Like my mouth was burning from this, that's for sure. So anything else that was a little lighter in the spice, this thing definitely cured my desire. So it's really cool. I've never had one like this. Again, it's, it's kind of like, it's almost like it's, uh, Actually, I'll be honest, I don't really know how they prepare it, but they take this lobster, it's like obviously kind of half breaded or dipped in some kind of coating, deep fried. Um, they serve this one with french fries, there's also some little uh, greens on top. Um, so I mean the french fries were fine, the french fries were like french fries, but I really like this coating on the lobster. And I know this uh, Hong Kong style is also really common with crab. Um, they were out of crab at the moment uh, during my visit, otherwise I would have got the crab Hong Kong style. So because they didn't have that, I said, hey, well, let's go with a lobster. Um, hard to ground with lobster. Um, they cut it up really nicely, too, so it was, it was easy to kind of access the meat. So I really did appreciate that and enjoyed that. Because, I mean, like, these are kind of foods, both lobster and crab, you have to use your fingers, or like, kind of in a way, like finger foods. Um, and so, you know, kind of them cutting it up the way they did made it really easy and convenient um, to get the meat out. And, you know, even though you are using your fingers, if you're with a group of people, you know, in kind of this scale of restaurant, you don't feel overly odd doing so. Um, look at these little uh, cherry tomatoes. They cut them like rabbits. Um, again, just like presentations, the uh, accents, um, everything was great. Really, really, uh, like I truly, I mean, everything looked delicious. And just the way that lobster looked, man, oh man, it was a beautiful looking item. And like I said, it tastes really good too. Really like this Hong Kong style. Um, oh, it was peanuts. There's some kind of peanuts or something in this Hong Kong style. Um, maybe it's breaded with peanuts or there's some peanut involved somehow. Um, again, first time I've ever had anything Hong Kong style like this. Um, but I've definitely seen it online. I've seen it in pictures. And I've always been like, hey, I want to try that. And this is the perfect opportunity to do so. And what a special treat having a Hong Kong style lobster. So after doing all the damage I pretty much could on that uh, on the lobster, 
which it was, there was, I mean, hey, it was a lobster. Like, it, was, it was good, man. Uh, no complaints. Um, again, I did have some of the french fries. I decided to not have all the french fries just because I had so many other items in and around me. And although, I mean, there was nothing wrong with the french fries, I just wanted to take in and absorb everything else. Um, like that general Tao chicken, which again was super flavorful, less relying on the salt, which I thought was really cool. And uh, I mean, that's kind of what I'm, I'm starting to really appreciate about good food. You know, good food is not like, yes, there is just so much taste and there's so much flavor. And it's not because they're just loading it again in sodium. Yes, yeah, sure, they add salt. Salt does add flavor to most things. But when you can have so much flavor without so much salt, it's really kind of where I think the difference between mediocre cuisine and okay cuisine to great cuisine is. Um, then I had these little ribs. These were the most popular style of ribs they had. Um, they're pork ribs. They believe they're called a sweet and sour, and they're really good. Again, something else I would have had at least, like easily, another order of their ribs. Um, ribs were cooked perfectly. Um, it was not uh, over, like overcooked, and they were not tough by any means. And the sweet and sour sauce was really nice. It was kind of like, Tang it was a little, I mean, as it sounds, a little tangy, a um, little bit like a nice level of sweetness to it. It didn't have, I've had some other kind of um, sweet and sour sauces or kind of Asian, uh, what they titled sweet and sour sauces, and usually they were more red. This was a little deeper color, almost more of a brownie ish, and I liked this sauce uh, a lot better than some of the other kind of sweet and sour, or sweet and tangy sauces I've had. Um, again, just I mean, who doesn't love ribs? Pork ribs, again, really nicely cut, um, delectable, fall off the bone, um, and yeah, I mean, just absolutely great tasting. Um, so that pretty much does it um, for the normal meals, the, the normal items. Um, again, some more of these beautifully looked looking um, kind of accents, like these little rabbits, um, which I mean, I love cherry tomatoes. And so what a benefit that I get to not only have cherry tomatoes, but I get to eat them. And they're shaped like rabbits, which is cool. Um, that was also a tomato kind of done up like some kind of face. Um, but now let's get to round two. Round two. Fight. So if you know me, round two, of course, brought dessert. So I had some little mango cakes. I had a what they called warm milk. I'll tell you why I got that in a minute. We had some durian pastries, like durian fruit, the smelly fruit. Then I had some little kind of sesame balls. I think they're like kind of a yolky inside, um, which we're, I'll get to in a moment. Um, so yeah, I basically went with the recommendations and a couple of the items that I wanted to order. So first we got, um, again, I kind of told you the sesame balls, the warm milk, the durian uh, pastries, and the uh, mango cakes. And I also had a mango pudding on the way. So they had on the item what was classified as warm milk. I was like, what is that? Like, I've never seen that before. And he was like, it's basically just soy milk that's warm. So I said, hell yeah. So I had to get it. Um, like, i just never seen that on a menu before. And that's exactly what it was. It was warm soy milk. Um, I think probably conventionally people probably just don't tip the bowl and drink it like that. But hey, I wanted to give it a go and it was good. Um, no complaints. It was just like warm soy milk. These little uh, sesame egg ball things were absolutely delicious. I very much enjoyed them. These are a recommendation of the gentleman, and I can see why. So they were warm, they were a little sweet, a little savory. Um, actually, in fact, they were really hot. Like, <laughs> like not just warm, but they were hot. Um, so could let them cool down a little bit more, but they were great. Really loved them. Um, and it was just like, you know, you're kind of in the mood for things. And that's what I was in the mood for, just kind of like a, a nice little little bit of sweetness. Um, it's It still seemed kind of light, uh, but just kind of, you know, light, cheery, and a little sweet. Uh, of course, you know, got to have some Diet Coke in there as well. Um, went to these little mango cakes, same thing. Um, very spongy, um, just a little sweet, very light. Um, quite a, again, a, a very, like spongy cake texture. Uh, but again, like all of these little desserts that I've had at this point were kind of really light. Um, and not overly sweet, so not overly sweet, light, fluffy, uh, and yeah, I was I was I was definitely digging the desserts. Uh, so came these durian pastries. So I've had durian before. The taste, I mean, like this is legit durian in it. So I mean, like it smells. Like if you're used to durian, like durian is the world's smelliest fruit. So it smells. It's a very unique taste. That's what it looks like there. Like the flesh, like it's like a goopy. 
custard. Um, I found the durian pastries now being very heavy, so I wasn't as much in the mood for them. Um, here is a mango pudding shaped in like a fish. I've never seen such a cool looking uh, mango pudding um, presentation. Um, so I, I like, it was like, man, I gotta take a picture of this. So definitely, I mean, the mango pudding, I mean, it was only a couple bucks and it was well worth it even just for the experience of getting a mango pudding looking fish. Uh, so again, was enjoying these little mango cakes, light and fluffy. Was really liking those soy balls. Again, the durian pastries, I kind of were like, I was like, eh. It, I mean, they, they weren't bad. It was just, again, a little heavier from what I was feeling right now. Um, so, of course, I went to take on this little fish. I mean, I don't know how else you're going to take it on, but you got to take the head right off of it. So I took the head right off this little mango pudding fish, um, you know, with high hopes or at least hopes of saying, well, you know, my headless fish, I'm sure it will taste great. And, and uh, it did. It was, uh, like a, again, a very light uh, mango uh, pudding, a little sweeter than some of the other desserts I had had. But if you ever had, like, mango pudding, um, in this case, you know, which it is quite thick, as you can see. It's not like a uh, North American like, chocolate pudding, which are not hold to mold. It is a little bit more of, like, a gelatinous um, mango and kind of milky flavored dessert, which I very much enjoyed. It's available at a lot of uh, Asian restaurants. It's very common. I've just never seen it present it in such a cool fashion that being looking like a fish um, so finished that off that was great again back to this little soy ball um, really like these again another item that I would have uh, ordered uh, easily another round of them um, sure that kind of had time and availability um, this was actually a dessert that I had forgotten about at the time these were kind of the um, egg tarts uh, very again common traditional item I see in a lot of uh, Chinese Asian inspired um, stores and restaurants um, so I tried some of these little egg tarts which uh, if you have never had them there again I mean, obviously you have a pastry shell they are I mean yes it says egg yolk but again it's, it's like a egg yolk sweet kind of custard filling but overall that brings us to the end of the video so what do I think of Ma how's my overall experience exceptional if you're in the area, I definitely recommend going. If you're just going through the area, I definitely recommend going. Some of the best Chinese cuisine I've ever had, and it was lovely. All right, so this is a little unorthodox, but like, gotta check out these restrooms. They're freaking beautiful. Look at this thing. Look at these restrooms. Look, spotless. Look at those freaking mirrors. That is some good lighting. Look at this. That is really good. It's pretty good lighting. So yeah, the restrooms in Ma are freaking beautiful. So if you come here, check them out. But of course, check out Ma. What an excellent experience. Like, phenomenal. I seriously was blown away. So Ma, I will be back. Definitely amazing. And uh, yeah, so that, hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely check it out in or anywhere around the St. Catharines area you are. Even traveling through, it was so good. Those ducks and everything, damn. Anyway, enjoy the scenery of this beautiful restroom. How funny is that? <laughs>